right, all right. Welcome, everybody. And uh, here we go. And um, I would like to ask uh, my team right now to see what's going on with my Facebook page and probably put me back as admin as I lost uh, um, the admin on my Facebook. And uh, so whoever is watching us right now, please put hashtag if you're watching us live or put hashtag if you're watching the recording and drop down in the comments which part of the world are you watching us from? Where are you watching us right now live from? Okay. Yes. And um, yeah. So as you are watching us right now and as you are clicking on right now, just make sure you are able to write down, take some notes because today I'm going to introduce you once again, Dr. Ross from Miami. He's the expert right now as our guest on E2E, expert in explaining us and showing us the power of regenerative medicine and the power of having an alternative. As a coach, I always talk about uh, having a perspective and turning around. And as a coach, I always talk about of the chance of looking at things from different corners, different perspectives. So as you are watching us right now, please make sure you share this live with all your people in the audience. And right now I'm going to bring on stage Right now, I'm going to bring on stage uh, Dr. Ross, and he's going to come and share with us deep, full insight. So three, two, one, let's welcome, and let's give a round of applause to Dr. Ross right now. Hello, Ross. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, so we're so excited to have you back today in this workshop, and uh, having you back today to share with us this deep insight of, um, of, uh, of, of, of this possibility of having an alternative and having um, transformation and change on our body. So right now, you are, not, you, are, uh, you are a professionist in giving better status and better life to other people, and you do it through stem cells. Now, how can stem cells help and reduce the aging progress because everybody wants to live young there was a song which was saying forever yes. young okay right so how is that possible with uh, stem cells and i'm gonna leave the stage to you because you are the uh the man in control today and uh, all right you, are you ready i'm ready Go let's do it and please give us insight thank you all right am i on <laughs> yeah, you're on. Tell me awesome. when you want to share your screen, and I'll just... All right. On. Well, I'll just do a little introduction, and um, I'd like to say thank you for, for joining us today. Um, this presentation is something that I give to very large health institutes every week, and it really talks about things that you can do to slow or, or, or stop the aging process to some degree. I mean, our bodies, our license, our ID will say one age, but... Are we a different age? It's really our cellular age that matters. The number on our license isn't as, you know, as important as how our cells are functioning. So what I'd like to do is share with you really what aging is all about, how to defy it really, and give you um, multiple things that you can do, not just talk about stem cells, which I will discuss, but there are a lot of different things that you can, that you can do to slow this process down. And so what I'm going to do is, is kind of give you kind of a little slide presentation that goes over the, the highlights of this. And, uh, and then, of course, I'll answer questions after I'm done uh, for anybody that has any questions. So just write the questions down as we go, and I'll look at them after at the uh, completion. So I'm going to start the, the, yep, there we go. Are we good? Yes, we're good. I'm going to leave you the stage, so just go ahead. Thank you. So as I mentioned before, this is a seminar on really talking about why we age, which is really important to understand, and how to defy it. And my, my name is Dr. Ross Carter, if you didn't know, and I have written a couple of best-selling books. One was called Doc Stem Cell, which is talking about regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy and how it can help with various conditions. And I also wrote a business book called The Million Dollar Business Card, which was on using... Um, 
books to really promote your brand, which is critical. If you have a business, you need to have a book. It is the best thing to really promote yourself. So <clears throat> originally, um, when I started looking into aging, uh, I, I wanted it really for myself. It's I'm, I'm, I just turned 51. And I don't want to, when I think of somebody my age at 50, when I was 20, I thought 50 was old. And it, it's funny how when you get to that age, you suddenly don't think that age is old. So for me, this was something I needed to research and find out how to slow the process as much as humanly possible. But age and age-related conditions kill most people. And I wanna share with you some really startling stats. For example, normally I'm with an audience and I'll ask this question, how many adults die every single day around the world from an age-related condition? So there's 10,000, 20,000, 25,000, and 50,000, or none of these. And then I get everybody to raise their hand. So I'm just gonna assume that you're thinking about which one it is. And the answer is really none of them. 110,000 people around the world die every single day from an age-related condition. Isn't that unbelievable? Age-related conditions, 110,000. So let me explain how that number, we got it. There's really 150,000 of people that die every day. 110,000 are, are from age-related diseases, and I'll explain what those are in a minute. But 80% 80 80 of all deaths are age-related. It's unbelievable. I mean, there are a tremendous amount of diseases that are associated with aging, which is this crazy slide, right? You're not supposed to list, you know, try to figure out all of them. But I just want to know, let you know there are tons of diseases related to aging. So when we're talking about aging, we really need to look at what is aging. And aging is really an accumulation of damage over a period of time. And it damages our body's operation. And it doesn't function like it should. So it, that's where what aging really is. It is where your body is breaking down faster than it can repair itself. Now, uh, Dr. Aubrey de Grey, who's a uh, PhD in age management, he talks about three words uh, of aging. Aging is metabolism, which leads to eventual damage. And that damage can become catastrophic to where you have a pathology. So that is what aging really is. You have metabolism, which is normal. You have damage that's going to be caused by that metabolism. And then eventually you can develop a pathology. That's when it's a problem. So if you look on this, this little diagram here, you have metabolism, damage, uh, pathology. You see where it says maintenance? Maintenance is what we're going to talk about at the end of this. I want to explain to you how you can maintain your age where you are right now and give you some examples. All right. So First off, we need to say, what is, what is it that causes us to age? If we're going to handle or, or stop the process of aging, we need to know what, what causes it to happen uh, in, our, in the first place. And here are really 10 major things that cause us to age. Aging is at a cellular level. You don't look at somebody's body and just say, okay, they're aging. You, you, it's really at a cellular level. So it's the parts of the cells that start to get damaged over time, that really causes us to age because it happens throughout all the cells. So let's talk, talk about the primary areas that we need to look at. Number one, we're going to talk about the DNA. Now, as you remember, maybe from biology class, you've got a cell and then you've got little, uh, a little nucleus inside it. It protects the DNA. The DNA is really our blueprints of, of everything that uh, we are. It, it, is, it has our, our genes of who we, we become. And the DNA is protected in the nucleus, but we can have damage to that DNA through normal metabolism. And when we have damage, it will mess up the protein creation, which can lead to problems such as cancer. Then cells have problems with their intercellular communication, meaning they can't communicate among the parts of the cell starts to not communicate very well. That can cause a, a lot of problems with that, with inflammatory response. And then you will have something, a process called inflammaging, which is inflammation based on this aging process. So this is where the cell can't communicate properly and then things start to get messed up. Mitochondria, you might remember mitochondria is the battery pack to our bodies, to our cells. 
And that's where all our energy comes from. And when the energy is decreased, as you get older, you tend to notice that the level of energy that you have starts to go down. So when the mitochondria are having problems, it can lead to problems with energy. Proteinase, which is uh, proteostasis, I'm sorry, a loss of proteostasis. Now, a cell, their main function of a cell is to create proteins. And proteins are a 3D uh, construct. So what they do is they take these molecules, these amino acids, and they create a specific protein. And it's a 3D shape. But what happens sometimes is that protein gets misshapen. And when that happens, the protein is not going to be functional and it will be misfolded, really. And so that protein, what the cell is making, is not going to be able to be used. And that can accumulate over time, which can cause problems uh, like Alzheimer's. Stem cell exhaustion, which you have repair cells in your body. They, they regulate the function of your body, your health, your white blood cells, your red blood cells, uh, your other tissues. And when they decline, you uh, start to lose the ability to, oh, hold on, oops, sorry. I don't know, let me go back. There we go. You start to, uh, the, the cells are, are have, start to have a problem repairing themselves. So that's when the stem cells get exhausted. Nutrient sitzing is also a problem with metabolism um, because it, the, the body doesn't or the cell doesn't know how much nutrients it has. So it either is going to overproduce or underproduce um, and you're going to have a decrease or increase in metabolism. And that puts excess stress on the cell as well. And waste buildup. Waste is going to build up just like like our normal daily life. We eat food and then we throw away packaging or containers or things like that. Well, that happens in the cell too. It, it uses, it, it burns the, uh, the, the sugars and the ATP, and then it will build up what's called a waste. And that can get cluttered in the cell and prevent it from functioning as well as it should. Telomeres have to do with the amount of times a cell can duplicate. As you can see on this picture, it's, it looks like the end of a shoelace, which is that protective thing. That protection prevents the chromosomes from unraveling and destroying the cell, really. So every time a cell duplicates itself, which it can do around 50 times, uh, that little telomere gets shorter and shorter. And eventually, once it gets too short, the cell stops dividing. And then it's supposed to self-destruct, which is what we want. Sometimes it doesn't. And then it creates something we call um, a, uh, a, a zombie cell or a senescent cell, which I'll, that's the last one. So epigenetic changes basically is your gene expression. Your genes are expressing who you are, your health, your life. So you may have DNA that has a gene in it that says you're going to develop macular degeneration or you could, but your genetics, your epigenetics don't, they never turn on that gene so that it's never expressed. So it doesn't mean that you have it, you're going to develop it. It's just a potential possibility. So you want to look at how your genes are turned off or turned on, which will determine how healthy you are. And then I would mention this, the cellular senescence. The cells are supposed to die over time, but sometimes they uh, don't. They become what's called a zombie cell. They are basically a cell that doesn't die and it just produces inflammation. And so this is considered an undead cell or a senescent cell or a zombie cell. So you want to, you want to minimize those or get rid of those as, as well. All right. So here are the steps to defy aging. So now we talked about the 10 things that cause it. Let's talk about 10 things to defy it or slow the process. First thing is you want to look at uh, testing. Testing is critical to know where you are. I mean, you'll, if you just start guessing at stuff, you're never going to know how, whether or not it's in working or not. So you need to start doing testing. And here are some of the markers that I like to use when I'm testing. Look at your blood sugar. You look at inflammatory markers, fatty acids, hormone levels, genetic testing, and epigenetics. You can get these tests done uh, online. You can order them. Um, for example, now, when we talk about your DNA, that is who you, uh, what your genes say you are to become. But your epigenetics turns off and on the expression of those genes, which shows how healthy or not healthy you're going to be. So you should look at your epigenetics. Now, there was a, a clock created about 10 years ago that actually uses your epigenetics to determine how old your cells are. 
And so what you can do is use these tests to determine how healthy you really are on the inside, your cells, not just based on your license. You can get these tests done. And all uh, righty, let me go back. So what I would recommend is testing your epigenetics here. If you look on here, mytoolboxgenomics.com uh, is a place that you can get epigenetic testing. Glucose levels. Most people have never done what's called a continuous glu glucose monitor, which is where they monitor their, their glucose levels when they eat uh, during the day. So you can see what foods really affect your sugar levels. And uh, surprisingly, you can also have what's called hypoglycemia that happens at night. When you go to bed, your sugar levels can drop and that will wake you up. So if you have problems with sleep, this is one area I look at, look into glucose monitoring. And this is a little disc that you put on the back of your arm and you wear it for two weeks and you can always use your phone to determine and look at all your, your sugar levels throughout the day and throughout the night. So this is a good way to determine if you have hypoglycemia ever or especially at night. Your gut, your gut is really in charge of creating all the neurotransmitter, almost 80 to 90% of the neurotransmitters of, uh, uh, in your brain. It all comes from your gut. Your gut is your second brain. It is critical to keep it healthy. Uh, you can go to Viome.com and get tested as well as buy nutrients that, that will help with that. You want to look at your inflammation and overall body health. You can go to Wellness FX where they can do uh, blood tests for your cholesterol, hormones, things like that. And uh, your body composition, that would be great if you're getting older and you need to see how much your body, uh, how your body mass, your body, uh, your, your percentage of body fat, and see if you have maybe osteoporosis or osteopenia with a loss of muscle, uh, excuse me, bone mass. The second area, so that was tracking, uh, I'm sorry, that was uh, testing, then you wanna track. Tracking is so critical. We have apps on our phone that can just track everything, whether it be sleep, whether it be your exercise, your nutrition, everything can be tracked nowadays. So use technology for your advantage. You can use things like Whoops and Aura Rings and Apple Washes, and you can use a, an app called Young AI. And these, all these things can track how you're doing with your health. How are you sleeping? How is your exercise? So use technology for your advantage, and uh, it's wonderful stuff. The next is called senolytic therapy. I mentioned that, that cells that don't die, they become senescent cells or zombie cells. And these senolytic therapies are going to be huge, very up and coming. They're not even really available now. But you can take nutrition to help eliminate these cells because they accumulate in your body and they cause chronic inflammation. And inflammation is at the heart of every condition. You just name it. It's an inflammatory based condition. So you want to get rid of all these cells as much as you can. And there's nutrition that can help you with those. Um, uh, I'm sorry, senolytics can uh, help with diabetes, cognitive uh, uh, problems, age-related osteoporosis and osteoarthritis. Supplementation. Now, this is a giant area. Most of us uh, are really not, uh, they don't have the nutrients that we need in our body. So I'm just going to go over some of the basics. There's really not a magic pill, although uh, lots of nutrition companies will claim they have the magic pill. It's really, you know, everybody needs different things to some degree. So, but you do need to find out how you're doing and you can do testing. But some basic things that you, you want to look at is look, NAD and resveratrol. Those are great to help pro, pro, uh, promote longevity and cellular act energy, uh, really in everyone. If you want to look at senolytics, uh, you can get nutritional um, things that help kill those cells. Uh, you can look at something called r acid, which helps uh, give you energy and protects from oxidative stress, which is the metabolism of the, of the cells. You can use things like green tea, uh, which can help with cellular renewal, ACC11, which can extend the telomere length. And I mentioned the, the telomeres, when they get too short, the cell stops dividing. This can extend the cell life so it can continue to create new cells. And then PQQ, which is great, and Q, uh, excuse me, CoQ10, great for mitochondria creation, which can help with your energy levels. Uh, you've got these two as well. The, they help with uh, a, um, auto, uh, autophagy, which gets rid of uh, some of the waste that's built up. Peptides, you may have heard of peptides. Uh, peptides are, in essence, very short, short proteins. They're amino acids that only have 50 or less chains, but they're very powerful in what they do. Um, they signal molecules of what to do and uh, stimulate your body's cells to do their job or do it better. 
Um, they can reverse inflammation, build muscle mass, help with memory and sleep. They help with sexual dysfunction. They slow aging. Uh, here's some common ones that you might want to look into. BPC-157 is probably the most common one that people know of. It's really the overall, you know, regeneration, anti-aging, you know, stimulate uh, tissue regeneration uh, uh, peptide. It's a wonderful peptide. It works really great. Uh, Epitalon is another one great for extending life and anti-aging. P- PT-141, great for sexual dysfunction. You know, how Viagra works is it, it helps stimulate the the blood flow of the genitalia. Well, this actually goes into your mind. It's like um, it, it stimulates your mind to want to be sexually active. And what's wonderful is it works for men and women. So you PT-141 or bromelanotide is what it's called. It is a great uh, sexual um, desire peptide. So if you have problems in this area, look into this peptide, it's great. Uh, Samorolin is, is a growth hormone and thymosin alpha-1 also helps with stimulate the immune system. So these are just examples of some peptides you can take. There are a lot more. Obviously, I don't have the time to go into all of them, but those are the peptides. Now, detoxification. You've got to detoxify your body. We are living in a very toxic world, world, and our body develops a lot of toxins over time, and it really contributes to the aging process. So, you know, it'll make you feel younger and, and feel great. You, you've got to get your tissues to feel healthier and stronger, and it'll help with blood flow and oxygen in your skin. Um, things, easy things you can do to detox. Uh, I recommend a raw, raw food diet, which uh, I work at Hippocrates and that's what they do there. And it just, I mean, I see miracles every week when I go there. It's unbelievable. If you've never seen, uh, done a raw food diet for three weeks, it will change your life. You know, I know everybody, you know, there's a lot of people that are paleo and all that stuff, but I'm telling you, just eating raw foods will help you lose weight. It'll really clear you up. It's amazing. Enemas help. Nutritional as well. You can do nutritional detoxes as well. Sleep. Hello. Now we're on to something that you probably have challenges with. Most of the world is having problems with this area. So let me give you some tips on sleep. Sleep is critical. Every year, the United States, at least, except for Arizona, goes through what's called a sleep study. We have something called daylight savings time, where we move the clock which is ridiculous to me, an hour forward during the spring, which we just had. And here's what happens when you do that. They found that they did a study and they found that the Monday following that that change of time, there was a 24% increase of hospitalizations due to heart attacks. How's that? So heart attacks, they'll kill you. So just by losing one hour of sleep, it can put you in the hospital. It can kill you. And then they found out if when we go back on the fall, then uh, they have a 21% decrease in the amount of heart attacks that they see in the, uh, in the hospital. It just shows that every year that we do this sleep study, that sleep really dramatically affects uh, your health. So you want to make sure you're getting enough sleep. Um, there are different people think there, there's a set amount of sleep. You need eight hours or seven hours or whatever. It really is based on how your body works. So let me give you some tips to sleeping better. You need to synchronize your, your natural wake and sleep cycle, which is called your circadian rhythm. The way you do that is you want to get up and go to bed at the same time every night, even on the weekends. Your body is in a constant rhythm, right? It, and it needs to stay in that. When you stay up too long or you go to or wake up too early, you're, you're messing with that rhythm. Your body is very rhythmic and it likes to stay in sync. So what you can do is simply wake up and go to bed at the same time every day. That's an easy way to do it. As well as when you get up in the morning, go out and look at the sun and that helps to drop your melatonin, which is um, so that you are awake and it increases your cortisol, so it gives you energy. Also, you wanna control your light at night. Now, we live in a society where we have lights on all the time, we have our computers on, we're looking at our phones all the time. That produces light that stimulates the, the brain to think that it's still light outside when it's eight o'clock or nine o'clock. You don't want to do that. So an hour or two before bedtime, you want to avoid bright lights or you want to use some blockers like a blue blocker glasses uh, that are tinted, not these clear ones, but uh, tinted. And that can help take down that blue light and it can help you fix your circadian rhythm as well as your sleep pressure. You want to exercise during the day. 
Um, exercise can just help with sleep all around. I mean, exercise is just great for everything, but it's especially good for sleep. And be careful at, uh, of taking caffeines and nicotines and avoid big meals and alcohol before you go to bed. So you want to avoid big meals. Um, some devices that you can do, you can use like a sleep stimulating glasses, which is the blue blockers. You can uh, make sure the light is really dark in your room, reduce the sound as well as there's something called new calm, which is a, is an app that you can listen to. And that kind of puts you in a hypnotic state. That's one of those. There's, there's lots of those, but this is just one example. These things all can help you sleep and you definitely need to sleep. Um, next thing you want to look at is, uh, nutrients that will help magnesium. Most of us are deficient in magnesium. So you need to include magnesium in your, your diet, but be careful uh, add it slowly because uh, like um, the Bulletproof Coffee set, the guy says you can have what's called disaster pants, which, you know, it is what it sounds like. You basically have a disaster because you took too, ma too much magnesium and you just had it went right through your system. So be careful. Start low and work your way up on your magnesium. Vitamin D3, which you'll get with your sunlight, but most of us need uh, uh, nutrients to help with that problem. So make sure you take your vitamin D, your zinc, your omega-3s, great for your, your B vitamins. Um, now, a lot of people have this, uh, this deficiency of an enzyme called MTHFR. Uh, most of us have it, and that means we can't break down methyl, uh, we can't break down B vitamins properly, especially folic acid. So just make sure to get a quality B vitamin, like a multi, uh, multi B that has methylated. And these are the forms. You have methylated um, uh, vitamin B9 or methylated folic acid and B12. You can get methylated as well as and B6. So those are the type of vitamins that you want to get so that your vitamins are absorbable by your, your body and uh, they're broken down. When they're, when they're in different forms, sometimes it can't get broken out. So make sure to take that. Mental health, mental training, some things you can do to help with that. You need to, as you get older, our, our, we're naturally going to have a decline in our, our mental health. Our memory starts to go um, and we can start to have, have some challenges. One of the things I like to do, I, I'm a big fan of Tony Robbins. Um, a lot of you guys are too. I do priming in the mornings. It's a, you can look on YouTube and find a video and it's really easy to do. You can also do meditation. That's really good to do at night, which I do. And something called tapping, which is also, you can all find all these on YouTube. It's just basically where you're using acupressure points on specific areas. And you're kind of uh, saying a, like a, a mantra to yourself to try to get you in a, a, uh, a relaxed state. So those are some mental training tips. I mentioned this guy before, uh, Dr. Aubrey de Grey. He talks about aging a lot. He's been doing it for over 20 years. And like I said, he talks about the maintenance phase. And I'm going to talk to you about that too. All the things that I mentioned earlier are critical to, to uh, staying healthy and work, you know, keep your aging as slow as possible. But here's the biggest step. It, it, it is called damage control or maintenance maintenance can keep you at this level. And, and he used, uses this example of a car and I'm going to do the same thing. You see this car, this car was made in the 1920s. It is 2021, right? So this car was made a hundred years ago and you could still see this on the street. As you can see, it's a color picture. So it's, it's, it's newer. Now, how is that possible when this car was only designed to live about 10 years and it's a hundred years later? And the reason it's possible is because of what's called maintenance. Every time the car is being used, you're going to, it's going to get somewhere and tear on it naturally. But if you go in and fix problems before they become catastrophic, you're going to, the car is going to last as long as you want it to. This is applies to your body as well. See, our bodies need the same type of maintenance. And we have some signals that tell you there's a problem. Usually it's a pain relation, but we need to maintain our bodies as long as possible. If we can maintain it before something becomes critical, then our bodies have the ability to heal. But it, it, when you ignore problems, then that's when they get worse. So what's responsible for maintaining our bodies is our stem cell. And we're going to talk about that now. So stem cells, I'm going to give you a little class on stem cells. Stem cell 101. Right. So what is a stem cell? A stem cell is an undifferentiated cell that can become more of itself or it can actually become and create other types of tissue, whether it be lung, liver, muscle, cartilage, you name it, it can become it, right? 
So why are they important is because they help to decrease inflammation when you have an injury and they stimulate the body to start to repair itself. And so that's what they're, they're trying to do is trying to fix the problems that are going on. So their ability is, is based on their age and their quantity. Because as we get older, the amount of stem cells that we have in our body tends to go down. And the quality and the ability of those stem cells are also uh, a problem. And here's an example. If you can see on this, uh, this guide right here, when you're a newborn, one in 10,000 uh, of your cells is a uh, stem cell. As you get older, you're at age 50, one in 400,000. So you've lost 98% of the repair cells of your body. So you're just not going to repair as well. Just think about it. As you get older, you know, you don't repair like you used to. If, if you were like this little girl just fell off her bike, but in about five minutes, she's probably going to jump back on her bike and not even think about that injury, right? She's just going to go on with her day. If we fell off a bike, trust me, you know, we're calling the hospital or an ambulance, right? So we don't heal quite the same, but we, we're, we're out, right? So our bodies just don't heal like we did when we were young because our cells, are, are the repair system in our body is, is not functioning as well as it used to. So <clears throat> there's different ways to stimulate this from uh, occurring in our body. We can do transplants or, or injections. Uh, now there's two kinds. There's autologous, meaning it comes from your own body and you re-inject it to another area. Or there's allogeneic, which is coming from another person. Allogeneic, what's great about that is there's no surgery required and it comes in a frozen vial like this. You can use placental tissue and uh, it's after a baby's been born, the placenta that remains used to be discarded, but now it can be recycled as a little regenerative factory. And that's using placental based uh, stem cell therapies. So how do stem cells work? Well, they stimulate differentiation of the cells through signaling. They cause uh, new blood vessels to be created. They prevent cells from dying. They take down inflammation. They stimulate nerves to, to start to regenerate. Um, they basically uh, cause repair and regeneration. Um, and they do that through a messaging system, which is fascinating. Think of it like a text message. If I wanted to, uh, if I'm a builder and I wanted to text the workers on what to do, I could send a message from my phone, right? Well, stem cells are like that in that they're the foreman and they are gonna tell the workers what to do. So in this picture, you see the guy in the middle, he's the stem cell. And these uh, cells, we're gonna call progenitor cells, meaning they are there to start the production and stimulation and making of the repair cell, the actual cells that need to be replaced. So the stem cell goes and gives it instructions and it sends it to these guys. Now, it doesn't talk to them in the way we talk, which is either through video or electronically, or through our voice, it uses chemical signals. And these chemical signals are called something. They're called exosomes, they're called nanoparticles, nanovesicles or extracellular vesicles. So basically you've got a cell that's communicating. Here's a stem cell. It has these little messages it wants to send to its target cell. It packages them up in this really tiny little bubble and it sends it out. And the target cell receives these messages also could be called a recipe because it'll, it's going to show the cell what kind of proteins to make. And that's how a, a cell communicates to another cell or a stem cell communicates the message to another target cell. And these are called uh, extracellular vesicles or exosomes. So here's what the exosome looks like. Here's what the message looks like. It is a bubble that protects the, the contents. What it's got protein, it's got messenger RNA and microRNA. Now you may remember the word mess, uh, mRNA recently. And why is that? Because we have what's called a vaccine that makes is made from mRNA. Now this is not a discussion on whether or not the, the vaccine is safe or good or whatever, but I wanna tell you about the science of it. It's pretty interesting. Um, the messenger RNA is a blueprint of proteins to make. So it's going to proteins determine the function of what, how the cell works. The micro RNA turns off and on our genes. And that means the expression of our genes, which is called our epigenetics. And then we have growth factors, which stimulate the cell to do different types of function. So like I said, messenger RNA is found in our vaccine. This is an example of our vaccine. What happens is in a lab, a scientist has created this, this blueprint or this recipe for a protein that it wants the cells to make. 
So that's the messenger RNA. It's protected in this lipid coating, which is called an exosome. So the, the lipid coating basically protects it from not getting destroyed. It gets injected into our bodies and the, the body, uh, each cell gets these little uh, messages and it creates what's called a spike protein. The spike protein stimulates the immune system to attack uh, the, the, the proteins. And then it has a memory of the, the, the spike protein, which is supposed to protect us from the COVID virus. Now, like I said, I'm not here to preach on whether or not the, the virus or the, the vaccine is safe or not. I'm just telling you the science. Messenger RNA can be used for good as well. And that's what we do as a regenerative doctor is using mRNA to make positive proteins to help regenerate our body. Here's an example. Like they did some really uh, interesting studies where they, they took two mice. One was old and one was new and uh, young. And they connected their bloodstreams together to see what would happen. And guess what happened? The old now started to become young again. Why? Because all because the young stem cells and exosomes really are transmitting signals to the old mouse's tissues to start acting young like it like the other mouse. So it didn't just like feel young. It started getting hair and this, it, the brain tissue started um, forming muscle tissue, uh, nerve tissue, all the things that the young mouse had. Now the old mouse started to develop. And that was through something called parabiosis, which is what how exosomes uh, communicate, like we, I mentioned before. And really, that is the stem cell of, uh, of the future. Stem cell 2.0 is using just the signals. We don't actually, what we found is we don't actually need necessarily the actual stem cells to send the message. It's like taking a, uh, just a, 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 um, a lot of the messages that these stem cells have and, and putting them in a vial and then injecting just the messages, it, the, the cells will still respond the same. And that's how stem cell therapy really works. It just uses the messages. So we don't need to inject live cells into the body. And I like these little slides because think of it this way. Imagine what you could do if your young cells, like you had when you were young, turn back on. Because as we get older, our cells start to, the, the young cells, the, the, the epigenetics of our youth are turned off. So imagine if we could turn them back on. Now, this is the same person, uh, but years difference, obviously. All of these people are. It, it takes down the chronic inflammation that leads to what's called inflammaging, or that's what causes a lot of disease processes. It makes us younger at a cellular level because that's really what we want to do. And it can be systemic so that it can take down uh, organ and damaged uh, uh, tissue. I'll give you an example. Here's an example of a person that had got a second degree burn um, from a gas fire. They tried to put it out with water and it burned his face. Now, fortunately, uh, there was a person at the, the barbecue, which is what this was, where they started spraying these exosomes on the face. And as you can see, seven days later, this guy looks great. I mean, no keloids, no scarring. Looking, he's looking really good. Look at what happened after 60 days. The guy looks brand new. It looks probably better than he did before got, getting burned. This was possible due to just spraying exosomes on his face. It's amazing. Imagine what that can do on the inside of your body, not just the skin, but it works on the inside too. So the benefit of doing these exosomes, which uh, are available throughout the country, at least in the United States, I'm not sure where they are available uh, around the world, but you can check. But basically, you're getting these 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 brand new young messenger RNA proteins, growth factors, and they stimulate the body to regenerate itself, takes down inflammation and helps with the cells to repair. It slows the aging process. It decreases oxidative stress, decreases inflammation, and it, it comes from donated placental tissue. It doesn't kill a baby or anything like that. Now, sometimes you're going to see things that are exosomes. They'll call themselves exosomes. When you get into this area, you go, I'm looking for exosomes. And they go, yes, we offer exosomes. Well, they're not all the same. Some come from amniotic fluid. Some come from bone marrow. Some come from placental tissue. Some come from Wharton's jelly. So they can be from different things. So let me compare the difference between amniotic fluid exosomes and stem cell exosomes. Amniotic fluid exosomes are, is really mislabeled. It is actually filtered amniotic fluid. Now, I like amniotic fluid. It's great for certain things, especially inflammation, but it is not regenerative. Stem cell exosomes regenerate, stimulate regeneration. Amniotic fluid exosomes is filtered amniotic fluid. 
That's it. It's not expanded cells. So it's just filtered amniotic fluid, which is like comparing cars. You've got amniotic fluid exosomes is a car in this case with the, the cheap car, the Hyundai. And then we got the Ferrari. Both are cars, but one of them has a little bit more going on than the, the other one. So that's the difference of comparison. And the last key to defying aging is accountability and coaching. You know, there's coaches for everything in the world, right? And that helps us with business. If we need a business coach, we can we can improve our business. If we need a relationship coach, we, we get a relationship coach and we can improve our relationship. Well, there's coaching uh, for helping you stay healthy as well. A health coach, basically. And it keeps you accountable because most of the time you can get lazy and not do what you need to do. Somebody's got to be uh, hold you accountable. And that's what I do as well as other people. And my gift to you is if you're interested in talking to me about uh, figuring out what type of regenerative procedure or how to stay healthy or how to get more sleep, I give you a consultation. I, I charge $2.95 for that. Uh, I have a book. You remember my book at the beginning. I will give you a book for free, actually. And um, you get a discount if you work with me on any procedures that you may need. The total value on that is uh, $690. And I'd like to give that to you as a gift, no charge at all. So if you're interested in this, uh, just go to my website, drrosscarter.com, and uh, you can schedule a uh, appointment with me to, and it's no charge, like I said, for just a little while anyway. And you can set up a time with me and we'll figure out what you need to do and really it, get your body working. I mean, that's what life is all about. Imagine what it would be to feel like yourself again. I mean, like it used to feel like when you were 20 or 30 or whatever age you were before. It's it, it's life changing to feel that way. Disability free, pain free, uh, um, uh, free of disease. That's the way you want to maintain yourself. So keep yourself where it is. You don't want to wait till you have a problem because it's so much. It's so hard to overcome a problem. Just try to prevent it from in the first place. And that's one of the, the, the things that I work on doing, preventing and doing maintenance on someone. That way we can keep you around as long as, as possible and you stay healthy the whole time. You don't want to be disabled. Anyway, that's the, my time. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm here for answering questions. So I'm going to turn this off and go. And if anybody has any questions, uh, I'm here for you. Moses, I don't hear you, man. You're, you're, you're muted. Uh, sorry for there. that. And uh, thank you so much for sharing this presentation and uh, the picture that you show about the skin and how uh, the transformation went from that burn of second degree. So Crazy, burn right? of second degree is, 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 is something really tough. And yeah. how the procedure helped change and transform the skin of that young man is totally incredible, right? Great. Yeah. I don't know. Hello. Okay. okay, there you go. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, thank you for what you have brought and what you have shared with us. And uh, we had some um, technical issues, okay? <laughs> That didn't allow us to go live on our main platform. And I was trying to sort it out with my team right now. And uh, apparently, there was a change in the algorithm of Facebook that has messed up all the settings. And I was trying to figure it out right now. That's why I wasn't on screen. And uh, apparently, the, the platform was, wasn't able to do it while we were live. So I have to end up the live and then... We are going to edit it, and then when we edit it, we are going to put it on. And then, do you know what I will do? I will get all the questions, and I will get all the people who are um, maybe interested in what you gave as offer. By the way, if you're watching this, definitely watching this on recording because we've got very few people on YouTube, and uh, for some reason they cannot ask questions on YouTube. I, I I have no idea what has gone on to them, the technical side. But for all those who are watching the recording, what I'm going to do is we're going to put it back on our platform as soon as we have the video. We're going to put it on our platforms and stream it back again. And as we stream it back again and we put it back on the platform, what I want to do is I want each one of you to write down in the comments everything that you want to ask 
Dr. Ross, and sure, we will make sure we will, we will do our best effort to bring him back, even if for a very short uh, time, where he can answer your questions live. Because one thing is gathering the questions and he answers them written. Another thing is gathering the questions and then we just come here uh, spot on and just go with uh, question after question and Dr. Ross answers them live with us. So thank you so much, Dr. Ross. And when do you think your new book will be ready? Man, I'm, I'm trying to get that done as quick as possible. But I would say, you know, the process, it's a, it's a process. So I'd say two months from now is, is, so basically it's April, May, June. I would say the first of June, it'll be ready. Okay, great. So we're excited to wait for that. And even if it's not the first of June, we just need to know that it's going to be, it's going to yeah. be out pretty soon. And that's going to be um, a, a, another way of transforming and impacting people's yeah. lives. And I'll tell you what, here's what I'll do. Um, if, if anybody goes to my site and, and registers there, I will give them a free digital copy when it comes out, but only to those people that go to the site and do it that way. I'll, I'll give them a free copy. Okay, because on the website you can have, um, uh, it's faster to have the digital copy than uh, the hard copy, correct? Yeah, right. yeah, definitely, definitely. That's amazing. And um, um, coming back to all the, uh, the therapies, I want to emphasize one thing because you talked about coaching and um, you are also in the coaching business. I am also a, a coach and uh, this is our world. And... Um, it's always better to hire somebody who knows yeah. where to take you from point A to point B, identify yeah. the gap that's in the middle, okay? And then close that gap and make it as narrow as possible where you are right now to where you want to be. So for those of you who are watching us right now, um, uh, Dr. Ross, in all his job and what he does, there's always a coaching approach because it's not just a matter of, hey, I want to do this. Let's do this. Give me some injection. Give me some injection, doctor. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, it, exactly. It's going to be a procedure. We need, you need to even have the right mindset. You need to have the right uh, guidance and the right follow-up and step-by-step -step support in this journey. So um, you may have a coach. Accountable. Yeah, you may have a coach for anything. You're coaching, taking care of your health, taking care of, um, of, of your business, taking care of your relationship. Well, you can also have a coach taking care of your health, but in the terms of a new way of living a healthy life, doing what's possible to be done, aging and making sure that age is just a number and living that life that you are created to live in the right way you deserve it okay so we are getting to the end ross of this amazing workshop definitely we are going to uh broadcast it promote this video because it was done such in a perfect way we're gonna edit it so simple so clear and it's gonna be powerful we're gonna help a lot of people around the world so ross yes. is there any uh, any further recommendation you'd like to give us or anything you'd like to uh tell us well, I mean, there's there's too much to tell, so that's why I just, that's why I you know there's no way for me to tell it all. It would take another it would take a day to to go over all this stuff. So I just gave you little pieces of things that I, I each area that I work on and work with, and uh, so yeah, so there's really no way for me to go through all that. All right, so it was an intense short workshop. But I believe each one of you got what you needed. And for those of you who are watching the recording, this is going to be a tremendously a blessing for you and impactful for you. So stay tuned with us. Keep on following us on E2E and Expert to Experts. And for those of you who want to get in touch with Dr. Ross, he has some amazing things ready for you. And uh, he's willing to give you the... The, the digital copy of his new book that's going to come out in the next two to three months. So please go to drrosscarter.com uh, and you'll find him right there and follow his works and follow him also on social media because he is the true expert in when it comes to living an amazing life without aging the wrong way, the bad way, I would say, okay? So please... 
follow Dr. Ross and uh, thank you to watch this uh, amazing workshop. And Dr. Ross, I want to thank you so much on behalf of me and my audience. And uh, even though we had some technical issues, we have done it. And now, because of these technical issues, when the game becomes hard, the tough people start playing the game. So we are going to even do more than what we plan to do if the, we wouldn't have had these issues um, streaming it. So thank you so much, Dr. Ross, and uh, wish you an amazing rest of the day. And for all of you, our friends watching us, share this video, share it, share it, share it, and help somebody else who may find enormous benefit in watching this live. Thank you so much to have watched us and have an amazing rest of the evening. Thank you, Dr. Ross. I appreciate you. Thanks. And see you to the next video. Ciao. Bye-bye.